All right, so we're going to segue to talking about the Dallas Cowboys, America's team, uh, according to Skip Bayless. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Neither of us are Cowboys fans, but uh, they are an interesting team to talk about, and they are one of the most relevant teams, whether we like it or not. Um, And so after uh, they won against the Eagles this weekend, 37-10, to Uh, I would like to ask the question. I think it does beg the question of are the Cowboys now a contender to win the NFC and maybe even the Super Bowl with how they looked on Sunday? Um, okay, so basically, let me give you some backstory on my history with the Cowboys. So I grew up in a household with my dad who's a diehard Cowboys fan since he was probably like two years old. You know what I'm saying? So Cowboys. I'm a Saints fan, so it's always been like going back and forth. Uh, he's always like to talk trash. I mean, I don't really like the Cowboys, so I don't want to be too biased, but I don't know because they started off three and zero, and I was like, okay, the Cowboys really might be a team. Then they dropped the zero and three, and then their record was three and three, and then they just beat the Eagles. I wouldn't put too much stock into that. The Eagles, I feel like they're uh, they're like. A watered down team. Uh, I don't know Carson Wentz. I mean, he's having a decent year, but it's just that team doesn't seem like how they were that year when he was hot and he was going crazy. Um, but I really, I still think the problem is Dak Prescott. He he's not oh producing. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm sorry. Those <laughs> Go numbers ahead. are empty. Those numbers are empty. Uh, two thousand one hundred and twenty three passing yards, third in in the league, twelve touchdowns. Seven picks. I mean, that, that's decent. But for what he's asking, he's asking, what, for like $40 million? Nine yards per attempt? Okay, good. But the problem with Dak Prescott is when Amari Cooper is not there or when Amari Cooper is playing bad or he's hurt or, you know, anything like that, Zeke is having somewhat of a bad game or not. He can't, he can't get it going. Dak Prescott is terrible. It's sure his QBR is high, but that's – because the first three weeks they played probably the three worst teams in the league. So his his numbers are inflated like crazy. Uh, I, I don't really think them as a contender. Um, looking at their schedule right now, it's they got the Giants. They got the, Vi- the Vikings after that. The Vikings are pretty hot. The Lions. Yeah, Kirk the, Cousins. The Lions, yeah. Kirk the Lions Cousins, defense. he's figured it out. I mean – you look at him, and he's he's been going off. He ever since Adam Thielen and Stephon Diggs called him out, he's been going crazy. Which I do think yeah. you have to give him credit for. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, they got the Lions. The Lions are going to be a tough out. The Patriots. I don't see them getting past the Patriots. The Bills are a really dangerous. Um, they're a tough team. Whether or not Mitchell Trubisky plays good or not, that defense he won't. is always good. I, I, I'll tell you that right now. He won't. <laughs> the dude's he, he garbo. Won't. I'm sorry. I may I may be biased because I wanted the Bears to draft Deshaun Watson because I am a Deshaun Watson fan wholeheartedly. I will admit that I am a little biased towards Deshaun because he went to Clemson. But, I mean, it was pretty obvious that – Mitchell Trubisky should not have been drafted over Deshaun or Patrick Mahomes. For sure. Yeah, I 100% agree with that. That was some bogus stuff. I mean, just just um, look at the way he played against the Saints. I mean, the dude could not throw the ball down the field. And he threw it over 50 times and only had about 250-plus yards. Yeah, that's awful. That's that's terrible. So what does that tell you? And the... It was a 12 to 10 ball game against the Saints at halftime. That is a competitive game. You got to go out there and win that. And he didn't. He just played out, mm. played terrible. And so I think Mitchell Drabisky will eventually be on his way out of Chicago. So I definitely yeah, I think don't so. think it's going to happen. If it were down to just the Bears defense, I think that the Bears could maybe challenge somebody like the Cowboys, but. No, not with Mr. Trubisky. No, no, no. Yeah. No. <laughs> Is that double bitch? Yeah. No. But the Cowboys record against teams 500 or better this season, they're one in three. Mm. Sh- sure, that's that's not good at all because basically every team they play from here and out besides the Redskins, Eagles, and the Giants, everyone's 500. That the Vikings, 
the Lions, Bills, Patriots, Bears, Rams. It's going to be after the Giants this week, which I think they will. They have six tough games in a row, so it's going to be really, really tough. Um, I can see them at best going eight and eight. Uh, I'm not. I, I'm eight not too high eight. on the Cowboys. Yeah, I'm not too high on Dak Prescott eight. and the Cowboys. Yep. All right. I, I, I completely disagree. I do think that they are definitely a contender in the NFC. I don't know about the Super Bowl. I do not think that they could challenge the Patriots with the way that uh, Bill Belichick uh, comes out and coaches defense. And it, even if the Chiefs were to make it out of there uh, with their terrible defense, I still think that Patrick Mahomes would find a way to outscore him. So I don't think they are a contender for the Super Bowl. However, they are a contender in the NFC. And I'm going to have to push back on the fact that Dak Prescott is terrible and everybody wants to call him trash because it's trendy. He's not trash, all right? He's not the greatest quarterback in the world, and it's not even about does he deserve top dollar because I don't think he deserves top dollar. I I don't think anybody will challenge that. I think yeah, if sure. I think if he gets paid forty million, which is about what he would be paid to get top dollar in the NFL for a quarterback, I think that they'd be overpaying, and that the Cowboys should absolutely not do that unless absolutely necessary. Which it may end up being that way, who knows? But I think they should at least try and get a discount because Dak Prescott. It is a fair point when Amari Cooper is out or when Tyron Smith is out, he has been pedestrian at best. I mean, and it's really even more so with Tyron Smith because I saw an interesting stat today, uh, this morning, uh, when it comes to his QBR when Tyron Smith Mm -hmm. is on the field and when it's off the field. Uh, When Tyron Smith is on the field, he has a 90.6 QBR. That's crazy elite. That's crazy good. Uh, yeah, that, but when he's great. off the field, it's a 54.9. That's only really above average. Mm-hmm. And so I just, I do agree with you on that. But at the same time, you look at him when he does have his weapons, he is a quarterback that you can win with. So it's not even about, is he the most elite quarterback? It's about, can you win with him? And I think you can win with Dak Prescott. Are the situation, does the situation need to be perfect? Basically, yeah. You got to have all yeah. your pieces around him. You got to have the offensive linemen. Uh, you got to have the wide receivers, and you need to have the running back. But when they do have that, they are a prolific offense. You look at their offensive stats, they're first in yards per game, even with their poor performance in the three game stretch. They're fourth in points uh, with passing yards per game, fourth in rushing yards, seventh in points per game. I mean, you look at that, those are elite stats, and I think that will carry over into November, December, once things start to get more competitive. And even though we did talk about uh, with the schedule how Kirk Cousins is on fire, you look at Kirk Cousins, he's only won once against the Cowboys. Now, that was with the Redskins, and they didn't always have the pieces around him, but I still think that Kirk Cousins, you cannot count on Kirk Cousins uh, and have those high expectations. When the expectations are high, this man collapses. I mean, can we agree on that? Yeah, we. Yeah, most definitely. <laughs> the Bears, 100%. like I said, not beating them with Mitch Trubisky. He's just he's not an elite quarterback. All right. So I mean, really, the Patriots game is probably the only game that I would say that I definitely count them out in. Because I just don't think that Dak Prescott can get it done against that elite of a defense. But also, when you look at the defensive side of the ball, they really showed me something on Saturday. They forced four turnovers. They only allowed 283 yards to the Eagles. Now, how much you want to put stock in that, I mean, that's a fair point. But I do still think they got talent with Carson Wentz. They do have Jason Peters out, which is creating a bit of a problem for the Eagles. But I still think it's impressive to hold a talented QB like Carson Wentz to 283 yards, 168 passing yards. They did give up 115 rushing yards, which is pretty uh, – staying with the trend of how their team is. They're not a great run-stopping defense as they are 15th, which is basically middle of the pack. They're not good 
they're not bad at stopping the run. They're just about average. Um, but I mean, four turnovers for forced in zero and two in the red zone. Whenever you're able to stop a, a team in the red zone like they are and force mm-hmm. turnovers like that, you know you got something special. And they got plenty of talent with Jalen Smith and the Wolf Hunter and Sean Lee. It looked like had a resurrection game. Do finally decide to show up. Uh, Finally. (laughs) I mean, this is is an old man, but he's definitely going to have some of those games. But that's the thing when you're an old man. You're sometimes going to be able to show up. You're sometimes not going to be able to show up. But I definitely do think the Cowboys are a team that can compete in the NFC. They just have too much talent on their team to count them out. And as long as they can stay healthy, I think Dak Prescott can win enough games and can win in the playoffs. I mean, we saw them win against the Seahawks in the playoffs last year. So we've seen them have some success. So I definitely think that the Cowboys can compete in the NFC. Uh, We'll see how they go throughout their season. We'll keep an eye on them throughout the season. Uh, So if you like this video, subscribe if you're new. Uh, Click the like button. It only takes two seconds, man. What are you doing? Come on. If you like this content, you got to drop the like button. All right.